So today I'm doing a video on batteries. Uh, I ordered some batteries. I wanted to kind of tell you guys a little bit about how I got batteries, why I got batteries, how those batteries turned out, which isn't necessarily perfect, uh, and some lessons learned along the way. So we'll start with the why. Why did I get these batteries? What will they be used for? Uh, I've got a bunch of solar panels and I've got a hybrid inverter on the way. Uh, I don't really care about backfeeding the grid. I, I think they would buy it from me after much expense and time and you know, all that good stuff. I, I think they would end up buying the power back from me at four cents a kilowatt hour. Frankly, not going to make that much over what I'm using, especially in the summertime. So at this point, I just don't care about backfeeding the grid. So for me, the other thing too was if I decide to purely backfeed the grid, if the grid is down, there's a very good chance, not that there's not certain ways around this, but really good chance that I'm not powering anything in my home if the grid goes out. And here in Central Texas, we are very still injured from being without power for five days in the iciest, coldest times that it's been here. Uh, it's one thing if you're prepared for that right in your region, we're not here. Uh, so anyway, it was a bad situation and I resolved, I'm never gonna be totally without power again. So I will have a way to turn these on. We actually did have some sunny days uh, during that time. Uh, so suffice to say, I think that should cover the why I'm doing the batteries. And uh, I'll show you in just a second what they are. And then a little bit later on, I'll show where we got them or how we got them. So I did wanna show how these are packaged, right? They're all taped up. Uh, very well and then once you open it it's got a bunch of padding in here uh, the scent is pretty strong but these batteries do vent so that is what it is but um, so far so good I don't really see much physical damage yet but I'm only in box number three so we'll let you know I wanted to throw a little voiceover in here because uh, watching me open boxes, now that I go back to edit this, um, I had to cut this way down. This was a lot of boxes. It basically filled up the back of the flatbed. Uh, so yeah, so good stuff. Um, but really what I did is carefully take each one apart. And the video evidence was not so much for YouTube, although uh, I think this can be good for anybody else who's going to embark on this. It was really more so that I could provide this to the seller uh, because the audio in this has me describe a sticker that identifies the unit number of the battery, the voltage that it was measured at, and whether it was wet or not. Um, so surprisingly, most of the boxes had some moisture in it, which I think is a pretty bad sign. Um, again, later in the video, you'll, you'll hear me refer to the fact that each one will be capacity tested I think that's going to be pretty important. It's a real pain in my butt, but um, you have to do what you have to do. So I have no idea how the seller is going to respond to it when I find bad sales. I hope it's in a good way. They had a fair rating, rating on Alibaba. Uh, and I'm more than happy to share the vendor's information. If this turns out to be a good experience, I certainly want to do that. If it turns out to be another experience, maybe I'll still want to do that. But either way, do your due diligence. If you get batteries from an unknown supplier, take your time, go through it, do what you need to do. Don't be in a hurry to get them set up.
So we've got all the batteries unpacked. Uh, they're put away. We did have a few in that batch that were a little bit wet. I don't know if that's because just one battery was leaking or if there are more than one. It was definitely a pretty strong, sweet smell coming from a couple of them. I've uh, been in touch with the vendor. And one of the things that we decided is it's best to uh, capacity test each one of the 64 batteries. So I have no problem with that if it means getting the proper product in my hands. Uh, so I'm waiting on a variable power supply to come in. I, I had one, but I broke it too. So anyway, that'll be the next one. We'll go through and we'll capacity test. I'll show you guys how I do that. And uh, hopefully you enjoy. Hope you stick around. Hit the subscribe button. We'd like to see you again.